Hello everybody, Steve Politi from NJ Advanced Media here with Ryan Dunleavy. Uh, interesting day at Giants camp to say the least. Final, the first pre first ever press conference with Eli Manning as a backup quarterback, really. Or what, it, it's, it's amazing, sort of remarkable. Uh, I got the sense from what he said, he didn't come out, of course, and say it, but just reading between the lines that he's, he's kind of thrown for a loss here that's happened this soon. I mean, was that your sense as well? Yeah, I got the feeling. I asked him point blank. I said, if you knew it was a two-game trial, would you have come back? Eli, would you have wanted to come back here if you knew it was only going to be two, a two-game trial? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think, hey, you, you, give it, you give it a shot, and, you know, I worked hard, competed, did everything uh, I thought I could, and uh, just didn't work out. How could you not feel like you sit in all these meetings all off-season long and feel like you were going to get, we're going to build up the offensive line, we're going to give you a real chance, and the real chance is two games with injured receivers and all? How, how could you not, I'm not saying he should be the quarterback, but if you're in his shoes, how could you not feel misled? Right, it, re it really wasn't a big enough sample size for, by, I'm sure by his standards, and as a million fans have pointed out in my in inbox, he's not the problem this year. Really, he hasn't played well, but the defense has been terrible. So that's the other side of it. That said, it's the right move. It's yeah. the t it's, it's been overdue. Daniel Jones, again, he is, he is the, polished. The problem is it was the right move in February, it was the right move then to let him go. The Giants couldn't do it, and they made mistake after mistake after mistake. Right, right. I think what bothers me about this, and again, the right thing happened here, but the, the amount of times that we were told by every time you suggested that Eli wasn't maybe not the capable quarterback, they looked at you like you were crazy. I mean, the number of quotes we're reading back of some of Dave Gettleman's greatest hits from the past, you know, two year and a half about it, John Mara as well. Uh, Pat Shermer as well. Yeah. It was just accepted that, well, Eli's going to be fine. We're going to build a team. We're not rebuilding. Now it, it's full rebuild mode, I think. Yeah, now it's almost like the media who knew nothing, almost, oh, maybe we did have a point. Maybe maybe we were. You were at Daniel Jones's press conference. I wasn't. Was he as predictably bland as I expected him to yeah, be? Yes, he was. He did say he's very excited about the opportunity. He's, you know, he's going to prepare his heart. Everything, everything that Eli would have said in the same situation, he's, he's already got that part of it down, Pat. Um, yeah, I was, I was excited. I think, you know, certainly um, excited for the opportunity. And now we're going to see what he can do. And I, I, I think that you're going to see that his mobility and his accuracy downfield is going to make a big difference right away. I don't know if it's going to be enough to win. I'm a little worried about his he, – he makes mistakes too. He's a little reckless. Will he throw the ball away? Will he throw a couple picks? But overall, I mean, I think this is going to be a di more dynamic offense. Let me give you two things that you can't, can't know if you were a fan not in the locker room today. One, it was hilarious to see the size of the media pack around Eli Manning's locker. Daniel Jones, the starting quarterback, was in a – towel coming out of the shower couldn't get to his locker yeah, yeah. because it's next to Eli's he couldn't get to it it was just kind of a wake-up call like you're you might be the starting quarterback but Eli man is still the king around here yeah. and then number two I asked a bunch of guys in the locker room how they found out text messages social media right. uh, clickers on TV there was no team meeting there was no text message they found out like you and I found out like you at home found out and I'll give you a third one the team doesn't think they're giving up on the season we see in the Dolphins where they think they're giving up on the season everybody wants a trade the Giants in that locker room believe this is a, a move made for this season not to throw away this season for the future right. and it's, that's going to be the fascinating thing because the Dolphins are as everyone knows all on, on the tank, tank. If, the, if this team is neck and neck with them if this if Daniel Jones doesn't provide the spark for yeah. this thing it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what they do here because I think that's gonna be uh, that to me is uh, it's one thing again if you're going if you're done if you're killing yourself but if you're trying to win and you still you're still as bad as they've looked the first two weeks that's not good. All right, let's sign off from here. See, Politi Ryan Denlevy will be in Tampa. Have a report from down there and see how the kid does. Thanks for watching.